everyone, my name is Dorothy, the founder of Ada Arts. Thank you so much for purchasing your Paint Night in a Box kit. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to be teaching you a step-by-step -step tutorial of this exclusive painting. Thank you again for purchasing and I hope you enjoy and have a great time. Make sure you have two paint brushes. One is going to be for the black paint and the other one is going to be for the other colors that you have. The first color that we're going to start off with is with red. So make sure that you rinse out your brush with water. So you also need to make sure that you have a cup of water and a napkin to wipe your paintbrush. So with the red on your paintbrush, you're going to start off with painting the top part of the elephant. We're going to be creating a sunset behind this elephant. So you're going to start off with painting, you're going to start off with the red and paint the red top. To make it smooth, you have to add a little bit water to the paintbrush. Now I know your paintbrush is not that big, but that's because the canvas is also not that big. If I'm going too fast or you guys need to catch up, you could always pause this video and once you get to the part that I'm at, you could resume. Now it's okay if you touch the stencil of the elephant a little bit because you want to make sure that you paint all around the elephant. To make sure that you have enough paint, you have to make sure that you wet your paintbrush enough. Alright, looks like we got enough red. Now we're going to go into the different part of the sunset, which is yellow. So you're going to rinse out this same paintbrush, rinse it out lightly it's a small paintbrush so it's not that much mixing rinse it out lightly it should be a little bit damp and now we're gonna go in with the yellow you're gonna fill this paintbrush up with the yellow and you're gonna add it on to the red area so now it's okay if you blend it up here because red and yellow makes orange and you want to have a little bit of orange in between so you're gonna get yellow and you're gonna bring the yellow up just half an inch and then you're gonna bring it down now it's okay it's actually perfect that you get this orange color and that's fine you could have this little orange it's fine remember when you're painting with this paintbrush you're gonna go left and right if you feel like your your paint is a little bit too watery it's because you added too much water to your paintbrush yellow you're gonna add the yellow and fill in the spaces down here you're also gonna blend it in to blend it in you're just gonna add yellow on top of it very simple very easy nothing too complicated I made sure that this wasn't too hard for you guys made sure it's nice enough and easy enough that you could just do it in one time one sitting So you're going to want to blend this out, the, or the red and yellow, to make this orange. Blend it out. And for you to blend it out, you have to do the scrubbing motion. So you're going to scrub basically the paintbrush onto the, onto the red. So the yellow paint onto the red. And to scrub it, you're just going to just do this motion, just back and forth, quick movements. Bum, bum, bum. Just to do that. That's it. Now you want this orange to be even, so it's okay if you just kind of make a straight little line to see if it's even. As you can see, mine's not even, so I have to bring it up a little bit more for the other side. Alright, now you don't rinse out the brush, you keep on filling in the bottom, 
fill in the bottom. One thing to all to remember as well is with this canvas, because it is 3D, you have to paint the sides, but the sides could come in later. You can paint it in later. What I like to do when painting the sides is paint it a different color. So I'll paint the sides black and that would look nice. Just paint it black while everything else is very colorful. So you get some more yellow, you bring it down, you bring it down all the way to the foot of the elephant stencil that you have there. Pause if I'm going too fast, pause if you need some time to get there. I know I'm painting a little bit fast. That's so this this video is not too long and lengthy. It's just very calm and easy to do. Now, if you feel like your painting is a little chaka, which is what I like to call it, where it's just everywhere and it's no filling, it's like it's like kind of scrambled. What you do to even it out is to use your paintbrush lightly the way that I'm doing it now and go over the area that you feel like is chocked or chopped up smoothly and lightly so that you could even out the distribution of the paint. Very simple, very easy. is a very nice light orange very realistic color okay so I've went ahead and I used the second paintbrush with the black and I just kind of created this mound right underneath the stencil of the elephant so I just created a half circle and I filled in this yellow part that's all I did so now what I'm going to do now is fill in the elephant with this black just primarily and try not to cover up the lines so I don't forget the lines or can't see where the lines are so that's all I'm going to do right now I'm just gonna fill in the elephant with the black and that's with a different paintbrush so now if your if your paint is a little bit thick just add a little bit of water not so much that is dripping but as you can see it's enough water on there that is glistening and you're just gonna fill in the elephant as much as you can and that's all you're gonna do So I'll be back, I'll fill this in, you can pause me now, I'm going to just fill this in right now. Okay so as you can see, I actually forgot to tell you guys not to fill in this area right here with black because that's going to be the tusk. Um, if you've already done so, that's fine. Make sure that it's completely dry so that you can just paint over it with white. As you can see, I also have filled in everything else with black. And I left, I know it looks a little bit raggedy, but that's because the little spaces in between is for me to memorize where the lines were before. So now what you're going to do is now you're going to fill in the test. Hopefully your test is already dry. Um, if you've already done it by accident, I apologize for that. So with the other paintbrush that you use the different colors with, you're going to rinse it out. Make sure it's clear, it has nothing on it. And we're going to go in with a little bit of white. Just a little bit because it's not that much of, it's not that big of a tusk. And you're just going to fill in this area that's already outlined for you with white for the tusk. That's it. That's all you're going to do. This is a simple step. All right, once that's filled in, you're gonna rinse out that same brush and with the other brush that you, you're gonna rinse out that same brush, make sure that there's no residue on it and you're gonna go back in with the white and this is what you're gonna do with this white. You're gonna start accenting the elephant. 
So you're gonna start putting in the lines where the foot's supposed to be separated from the nose and separated from the tusks and the eyes and everything like that. So the reason I kept these two open is because this is where the eyes is gonna be. And the eyes is only going to be a simple dot right here. And that dot is gonna be in white. So, but there's lines that go here just so that I'm aware where the lines go. So we'll go into here, right here, and we're gonna outline. You see I left a little space. We're gonna outline where this area is. And this is what this was. It was just like a little top for the head. You're just gonna fill it out this way. So you're just, all you're gonna do is fill out all the places where the lines were before, but you're just gonna fill it out in white. So you're also going to fill it out up, out, you're also gonna outline it upwards. And the way you're gonna outline it is you're gonna use the paintbrush this way, not this way, but you're gonna use it this way so that you can outline it. It's okay if the outline's not perfect because we always could use the paint to cover that up. So you're just gonna outline it. And you're just gonna trace over it. That's really what it's gonna be. That's it. So I'm gonna show you a couple of more and then I'm gonna let you guys do it on your own. And then you could just pause me and then do the rest for yourself. You can see here, I go into, this is the only the hardest part that to outline. Remember you're using a light hand so that you're not smudging everything. And it's okay if you smudge it because you're going to go over it again with the black. So you're going to go over it. Boom. Boom. Now we're going to go into the, the snout. The nose of the elephant. Not a snout. Snouts are for pigs. Right? We're going to go up around. Outline it some more. With the white. It's gonna look good. I know it looks a little bit raggedy right now, but it's gonna look good. Get some more white. Outline it, outline it. Boom, boom. You see it's coming together. It's coming together. Outline the other ear. You probably have a steadier hand than I. I don't have a steady hand. I just like to fix my corrections with paint over it. I'm gonna add some more. Outline the ears. Boom. It's coming out. Look at that. It's looking, it's looking very, it's looking very, you know, African safari-ish. We're gonna go back in. Then we're gonna outline the legs. And you remember the bottom of the foot have a, like a little curve. So you're gonna add the little curve. Another line here, add the curve, add the line here, add the curve. I know the elephant has three legs in the front, but that's because one of it's in the back. Add the curve, you're gonna add another line here. For this part, you're not adding any water to the paintbrush because you need the outline to be as, you know, bright and visible as possible. Add the line here for the other leg to distinct the other legs. That's what you're gonna do. So this out part you're also going to outline boom boom see what it's looking like outline just make sure you're outlining so it could look really nice it's looking nice it's looking nice we're almost there for the snout you want to add a couple of lines with the black to create the indentation that the nose has. Just just a little bit of line just across the nose. Just a little bit. Make sure it's just consistent, like as if the spaces is the same. Lines, you're almost there. should have so far we're gonna add another outline here for the hill another one here for the hill I know that's not a straight line but who's gonna judge you yourself I just fill in the line make sure that they're solid 
and to make them solid you have to go over them again there you go this is what you should have so far now if you want to be all fancy you could add the toes and the toes all they are is just half circles you don't have to add them but if you want to you feel spicy add them if you want to you know and once you know toenail here another one here you see how it looks with it that's why I'm doing it I'm doing it even if it looks bad so you can see how it looks sacrificing my paintings for yours all right Now, we're going to rinse out this paintbrush, and we're going to get the other paintbrush that you've been using black with, and we're going to start filling in that eye area. Since we know where it goes, now we fill it in. It's okay, you can fill in the whole thing with black. Fill in the whole thing with black because it's supposed to be black. It's supposed to be a part of the head. That's okay. I know it looks a little crazy right now. And while you have the black, fill in the other areas that you feel like look kind of grayish and kind of see-through. Straighten out your lines with the black. If you feel like this line could be more straight. If you feel like you messed up, use the black. This is your opportunity to use that black just to do so. Like I said, I like to clean up with clean up. So I'm going to do clean up right now with my black tusk with the black as well just so that the tusk can stand out a little bit more sharp get a little sharper see how it's looking oh you know very Picasso we're gonna go back in what you don't like if you feel like your lines are a little bit too you know, chaka, like I like to say it. You see it's looking all nice, it's looking nice. Clean it up. It's okay. Clean the paint. You could always fix it. Never leave it. You can never say that you didn't. You know, you can't fix it because you can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back on the bottom because I know the bottom looks a little bit more like grayish. So I'm going to go back in there, outline the foot, make sure it's solid. Top of the hill, right? So as this is drying, make sure this is dry. We're almost there. And now what we're going to do we're going to do is we're going to add the eyes. The eyes of the elephant is just a small little circle. Just not even an like kind of like a half circle. And you're going to add it in the middle. And you're going to add it with white. So you're going to use your other paintbrush that you used white with initially. You're going to get a little bit of white. Just a little bit. If you could see that much, that's it. Just a little bit of white. And you're just going to add the white right here. And it's going to be a little... Like it looks weird, don't add it. Boom. And you're completed. And of course, at the end of every painting, you want to make sure that you initial it. So I'm going to initial right here. And then if you want to add a couple of more things, you can add a couple of, you know, birds in the sky in the background. Just make a couple of Vs. That's it. And then you're completed. That's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you enjoy it. And now you have a masterpiece that you can hang on your wall, your office, your kid's room, your living room, wherever you want to keep it. It's all yours. You can do whatever you want with it. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for your purchase.
Thank you so much for purchasing the Paint Night in a Box kit. You have just created your first masterpiece. I hope you like it. Now you can hang it up anywhere you want. Tune in for other videos or you can purchase some more for the other kinds of paintings that I have. Thank you so much. Once again, I'm Dorothy, the founder of Ada Arts. And have a great day.